With the addition of the new Iron Man combat kit and flight kit, we now officially have all the Marvel weapons for the new season, which is why today I will be breaking down and ranking all of them from worst to best. I have really enjoyed this season so far, and with all these new additions, some are better, some are worse, which is why I wanted to do this ranking for you guys. There are currently 10 Marvel weapons in Fortnite right now, and for this video, I will be including the Doctor Doom armor that you can get from the island, the Iron Man flight kit, as well as the War Machine hover jets. Even though those last two technically don't do any damage, they are brand new to the Marvel season, so I thought that I would include them in this ranking. Also, this is just my opinion, so if you guys agree or disagree, make sure to comment something down below. I'd love to respond to every comment down there and make sure to give me your rankings as well. If this video gets 50 likes, I will be doing a V-Bucks giveaway, so make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you have not already. Also, use code CHUBSGAMING in the Fortnite item shop, especially if you're picking up the Iron Man Mark 45, and let's get right into it. Okay guys, coming in at number 10, we have the Doctor Doom Arcane Gauntlets. This weapon you can pick up from the Doctor Doom boss in Castle Doom, and he not only drops the gauntlets, but as well as his mythic monarch pistol, but we're just going to focus on the gauntlets for now. I don't think this is a bad weapon at all. In fact, it can do a lot of damage to enemies. However, I just rarely pick this weapon up at all. I've only used it a few times this entire season, and compared to the other Marvel weapons, it's just not that good. It allows you to shoot small energy blasts for its normal attack, as well as if you charge it up, it can shoot one giant blast that does 90 damage. If you play builds, the charge up blast does a lot of damage to structures, and if you end up hitting enemies with it, it really freaks them out. It can lead you into some easy eliminations. It was definitely fun at the first few times that I used it, but overall, I just think compared to the other weapons introduced this season, it's just going to fall at the bottom of the list for me. Okay, coming in at number 9, we have the War Machine Arsenal. This is one of the three War Machine weapons introduced this season, and it's a lot of fun to use, but similar to the Doctor Doom Arcane Gauntlets, I just rarely pick it up compared to the other weapons that we have. This weapon allows you to not only spray a lot of light ammo at your enemies at a fast pace, but also rain down rockets that do a lot of damage. And if you have a full squad that are close together while using the rockets, it can damage all of them at once. I've actually done a Marvel Weapons Only Challenge linked above if you want to go check it out, where I used the War Machine Arsenal basically as my main weapon and it was very useful and a lot of fun. But that fun did not last very long because if other players have the burst rifle or any of these other Marvel weapons, they can take you out a lot easier than you can with this one. When this weapon was first introduced, it did a lot of damage to structures, which Epic actually had to nerf, and they even extended the reload time for the rockets, which I think really made a difference in how many people actually use this weapon. I don't see it that often in an enemy player's hands, and I would really only pick it up off spawn if it's the only thing I find, which is why it's going to be at number 9. For number 8 on my list, I have the War Machine Auto Turret. This again is the second War Machine weapon that we have for the season, and this is a weapon that you do not actually have to fire at all, as Aimbot does everything for you. If an enemy is in a certain vicinity of you, it will lock onto them automatically and continuously do small damage to them as long as they are within that vicinity. And I just want to emphasize that this weapon does do a small amount of damage with each hit as it only does 5 damage per bullet. With that small amount of damage, I think that this weapon is actually very balanced. It's a lot better for zero build for the obvious reason that the enemies cannot just build structures around them to avoid getting targeted, and it's very useful if you're chasing someone continuously with the hover jets. If you're having trouble hitting them with your shotgun or your AR while in the air with the jets, this will automatically just do some damage to them as you're chasing. When the small amount that it does is most likely not going to destroy your enemies very easily. However, if an enemy is getting hit continuously, they may not pay attention to the amount of damage it's doing to them. But because they're getting hit, they're going to freak out and probably run away, which gives you the advantage in a fight. I know for me personally, I've been chased down by squads and they've all had this weapon plus a hover jet, so they can catch up to me very easily. And even though it's doing a small amount of damage, it's still very hard to win that fight just because I'm getting hit constantly, which throws everything off while you're playing. This weapon can also possibly be a saving grace as if you're shooting an enemy with your shotgun and they are actually one shot versus just lying to your teammates about it. The aimbot can potentially finish them off 
which has been done multiple times in my games. Overall, I think it's a great weapon and I do pick this one up pretty often, but with the new additions that we have, it's going to be a little bit lower on my list, which is why I put it at number eight. Coming in at number seven, I put the Captain America Shield. I gotta be honest, I have a love and hate relationship with this weapon. There are times I pick it up and I do a lot of damage to enemy players, especially if they're all bundled together in squads because it can ricochet off of them. And there are other times where this weapon just does nothing for me and doesn't block anything like it's supposed to, which is why it's going to be lower on my list at number 7. This is a weapon that does have aimbot, however Epic did nerf it to where you actually have to aim a little bit closer to the enemy for the aimbot to kick in. I've also found that this weapon does not actually block shots from a distance. Say for example if you're on a hill somewhere on the map and someone is on the opposite hill pretty far away but can easily hit you with an AR, the shield is not going to do much for you and the bolts are pretty much going to hit you if the enemy player is accurate. Off spawn this weapon is not bad if you're playing against the average player and there are a few times where I've completely obliterated the enemy players even though they've had some pretty good weapons like a shotgun or even an AR. The fire rate is relatively quick as you can throw it and it just bounces back to you but the enemy has to be very close to you for that to happen and it does 50 damage each time. If you're blocking with it and you get hit too many times it does have a stun feature which if this happens to you're pretty much dead because you can't do anything for a few seconds and the enemy players can just shred you with their weapons. It's pretty easy to avoid this stun and it's a lot more easier if you have other weapons to work with like a shotgun or an AR that you can switch to easily. Overall I think it's a very great weapon for the season but I just don't pick it up as much of these ones later in the list which is why it's going to be at number 7. For number 6 I'm going to put the Tony Stark Rifle. This is a returning weapon from Chapter 2 Season 4 which is the original Marvel season. I actually did not play that season so I never got the chance to use this before it was introduced but from what everyone is saying online the old Tony Stark rifle used to be hit scan and this new one that Epic has introduced is now projectile which is actually what most of the weapons are in chapter 5. If you guys don't know the difference between hit scan and projectile, hit scan essentially once you fire your weapon and you're aimed at an enemy it will hit the enemy immediately. There is no bullet travel and there is no drop off due to gravity. If you guys want to compare hit scan weapons versus the projectile ones, just hop into Fortnite Reload. All of those OG weapons from Fortnite were all hit scan versus all the ones from Chapter 5 are mainly replaced with projectiles. Just because this weapon was turned into a projectile one doesn't mean it's bad at all. I've actually gotten shot from long distances and multiple times from enemy players, mainly during ranked matches, so it's definitely very good and can be very useful. However, in my hands, maybe I just have bad aim, but I have trouble hitting my shots with it, and I don't think it's that great. Again, that may just be because I'm bad at the game, but I don't really pick up this weapon at all. I would much rather use just the burst AR as my main rifle. I also think that the new Iron Man stuff that they added for the season is a lot better than the Tony Stark rifle, which is why it's going to be at number six. All right guys, before I get into my top five Marvel weapons for chapter five, season four, make sure to like the video if you have not already. If this video gets more than 50 likes, I will be doing a V-Bucks giveaway for one of you lucky winners. And make sure to use code CHUBSGAMING in the Fortnite item shop to show your support. All right guys, coming in at number five, we have Shuri's Black Panther Claws. This is a brand new Marvel weapon that was introduced in this season, and I think they're a great addition. I don't think a lot of players use this as a weapon per se, but if it gets charged up to 100, it does allow you to have infinite sprint. I think that movement is very needed this season, so if you don't have the War Machine Hover Jets or the Iron Man Flight, what you need to pick up is the Shuri Black Panther Claws, which drop a lot more than those do. I think this weapon can be very useful off spawn, especially with a dash attack. You can either avoid your enemies or just go straight towards them but it definitely puts you at the advantage with the increased speeds. To actually do damage with this weapon, you gotta be up close and personal, and if you're constantly hitting someone with them, it's very similar to the Nitro Fist from last season, where you're basically moving at a quick speed in front of them, which will make you hard to hit, especially with the shotgun, and it does 50 damage with each hit. Overall, I think it's a great addition to the Marvel season, which is why it's going to be at number five. All right, at number four, we have Iron Man's Flight. These are the Iron Man boots that you can get from either the Iron Man NPC himself, or you can pick them up from the pods that drop down throughout the map at random times and pick them up there. This is something brand new that we've never seen before in Fortnite, and it allows you for insane flight speed across the map. I think this weapon is great for a lot of reasons. Number one, I think it's very balanced. 
If you guys played in Chapter 5 Season 2, there were the Wings of Icarus, which was a new movement for that season and helped you move across the map at great speeds. However, they had one flaw, it was very easy to hit you while you were flying in the air, and if someone did hit you, you would basically stop in your tracks and fall down immediately. It is basically the same thing with the Iron Man flight, because if an enemy player hits you, you fall down like Rhodey does in Captain America Civil War. It even has a stun effect similar to the Captain America shield that leaves you defenseless for a few seconds. You will most likely get eliminated at this point, which makes picking these up a great risk, but also they're the best movement in the game, which is why I think they're very well balanced. While you're in the air, you actually cannot use any weapons, which I think is another great addition because if you could use weapons while in the air, this thing would just be insanely broken. In order to use weapons in the air, you need to instead carry the War Machine hover jets. This weapon I feel is just a lot of fun and I think it's a great addition to this new season. I think that Epic did a very great job with implementing this into the game and with how well it's balanced, it's going to be put at number four. Coming in at number three, I have the Iron Man Combat Kit. Similar to the Iron Man Flight, this can be found with the Iron Man NPC on the map or found with the Iron Man pods that drop down throughout the game. The best thing about this weapon is that it literally does have aimbot, so if your enemies are within a certain vicinity of you, it will lock onto them and all you need to do is fire and it will hit them. It does about 30 damage per shot and 45 for a headshot. It's not the best amount of damage, but the fire rate is pretty quick and the cooldown time for this weapon is also pretty short. I do think it's extremely broken at the moment due to just how good it is and how fast you can shoot it, so I do think Epic will actually nerf it. The one good thing about this weapon is that it cannot be used while you are in the air with the Iron Man flight. However, if you combine the Iron Man combat kit with the War Machine hover jets, that is where things can get crazy. You can just fly throughout the air while using the hover jets as well as locking onto enemy players and doing 30 damage to them while most likely avoiding shots yourself because you're moving too quickly in the air and are harder to hit. I was playing ranked the other day with my friends and this weapon is pretty much how I died in every single game. I was having trouble finding the hover jets in this weapon and so in every single end game the players that won were pretty much rocking this combo which allowed them to get the victory royale. If you are lucky enough to have them in a match, they are super fun to use and I think that there are ways to combat them especially if you have shield bubbles because then the enemy players cannot lock onto you. I think just with this season in general there are a lot of OP weapons including this one but it doesn't really break the game which is why it's going to be at number 3. Alright guys coming in at number 2 I'm going to put the Doctor Doom armor. I wasn't sure if I should include this in the list at all but since it is technically a weapon that only one person can get in any match that includes the Doctor Doom island. I thought I would add it to the list. This is very similar to the Thanos LTM that we had back in 2018, except instead of collecting the Affinity Gauntlet, you are to capture the island and then you will become Doctor Doom. When you become Doctor Doom, you have 1000 health as well as Siphon for defeating enemy players. You also drop everything in your inventory and can only do four things, which is shoot a small explosive blast, do a jump technique, a laser beam, and as well as a charged up explosive that does a ton of damage similar to when using the Doctor Doom Arcane Gauntlets except at a much bigger scale. If you use the jump technique you can be in the air while using the laser beam and this is what's going to get you most of your eliminations. This is also very fun because if you do end up winning the game you don't just get a victory royale you get a victory Von Doom with a new green logo and I think it's very cool. My first time controlling the island and becoming Doctor Doom I immediately wiped out the rest of the lobby and it was a ton of fun, however I've played against enemies that have captured the island and they've become Doctor Doom and I've completely destroyed them which is why I think that this is actually very balanced and a ton of fun just to have in the game. If you become Doctor Doom you not only have a brand new inventory to work with and a ton of health and siphon which just creates a lot of fun gameplay. It's also fun if you're just one of the players trying to defeat Doctor Doom as well because it creates a fun challenge. I think that Doctor Doom is very easy to defeat especially if you have the burst AR and combine with the war machine hover jets it's very easy to dodge all of his attacks. Just as someone who's very nostalgic for Thanos being in the game I think the addition of Doctor Doom in a very similar fashion to Thanos is a ton of fun and was something that I was really excited for the season which is why it's going to be at number two. Alrighty guys coming in at number one and not surprising anyone is in fact the War Machine Hover Jets. I know these are technically not a weapon as they don't do damage but they are a brand new addition and the third War Machine item that we have for the season so I thought that I would include them in the list. I don't really know what I could say more about this that I haven't already said in the past but this is just the best thing in the game right now. If you watch any of my live streams, which by the way, I'm live typically on Friday nights and most Saturdays, the one thing that I'm looking for at the beginning of each match is in fact the War Machine Hover Jets. 
I try to land at the Avengers chest as soon as possible just so I can get one of these off spawn because it is just that good. I found that if you don't have this and your enemy does, you are just at such a disadvantage. It can almost make the game unplayable at some points if a full squad has these and no one in your squad does. And then you just get obliterated in a few seconds because they can move just so much faster, which is why I try to find it as quickly as possible off spawn. I think that this is one of the best movements we've ever had in Fortnite. Epic even nerfed this item twice, and I wasn't too bummed out about it just because it can still get you pretty far at extremely fast rates. It not only is the best movement in the game, but if you combine this movement with the Iron Man combat kit or pretty much just any weapon, you are pretty much a powerhouse and are very hard to eliminate, especially if your full squad has them. If someone is using the dash technique, it's very hard to hit them, especially from a distance, so you can avoid shots from enemy players as well as disengage from them very quickly, which makes for a lot of fun. I think that's another reason why I'm putting this in my number one spot, just because I have the most fun in this game when my full squad has these jetpacks and we fight a team that also has these jetpacks, rather than one that doesn't because it puts everyone on equal grounds and is an actual challenge. I think that Chapter 5 Season 4 has proven to be a really fun season, and I think that the hover jets are one of the main reasons why it's so fun, which is why I'm going to be putting it at number 1. Alright guys, that is going to be my list and ranking for all the Marvel weapons from Chapter 5 Season 4 from worst to best. Again, let me know down in the comments if you agree or disagree and leave your rankings down below. I would love to respond to all the comments down there. Also, if you want to check out more of my Chapter 5 Season 4 content, click these links right here, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.